Hi everyone and welcome back. It's that time of the year again and we are celebrating Stamptember. An amazing new release has just been released by Simon Says Stamp and there is something for everyone. I am going to use some of the products today to create a card so you can see them in action. This is the engraved feather die and it gives you a lovely feather, probably one of my favorite dies from the whole release. I'm going to use this feather die to cut it out from a colored cardstock. I'm using a shade of blue and a shade of green and I'm going to use my mini blossom die cutting machine here to cut them out. Just because it has all those engraving lines in the feather, I find that this is quite intricate and I prefer to run it through my die cutting machine using a metal shim. And you see it gives me a beautiful result. For my background I'm playing with deco squares, this is a big rubber die. A really elegant design, perfect for any occasion as a background and it is designed by Kathy Zilski. I am stamping that with Versamark and I do have some uh, tape underneath my paper, that's why it doesn't fall on me. So now I'm going to uh, peel it off and I'm going to use bright white embossing powder. I'm working on a vanilla colored cardstock which means that I will end up having embossed a design, white embossed design on top of a vanilla cardstock and this is going to be quite subtle. This is perfect for a background especially when you have lots of colors on your focal point. And you probably can't see the design with all the lighting that I have in my studio but trust me it's there, it's really beautiful and you will check it out in the close-up photos at the end of this video. I have foam tape at the back of my vanilla panel, I'm going to stick it on top of my card base and that's a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card. I do have the two feathers and the plan is to add them on top as my focal point but this is where I got the idea to add something extra on them. You can ink them up if you like, there are so many different ways that you can work with them. I'm just going to do some embossing at the tips of the feathers. So I'm using my mini Versamark ink and I'm swiping it lightly at the tips. And then on top I'm going to apply silver embossing powder. The embossing powder is going to add some shine on the feathers, something interesting. They are not going to be so flat as they are at the moment. And I decided to go with a silver embossing powder since I'm using cool colors for my feathers. I think that silver goes lovely with cool colors. Now you can create something similar with fall colors for your feathers and add copper embossing powder at the bottom. It would make a great Thanksgiving card, I think. Now it's time to put my card together. I'm going to use a dot of glue at the top of the feathers to keep them together. And then I have some uh, thread by Alta New. I'm using the silver one that matches with the silver embossing powder. I'm wrapping it around and I'm going to tie a little bow. For sticking them down I'm going to use a combination of glue and uh, foam tape at the tips so this way they are going to be a little bit raised and I will end up having some dimension which I absolutely love on my cards. For my sentiment I went with one from this new stamp set, this is the Banner Greetings. It gives you a ton of different sentiments that you can use as well as little banners that you can use them for your cards. I think this is a lovely sentiment uh, stamp set that you will be using again and again. So for this card I'm not going to go with the banners but I'm going to work with the phrase that says sending happy thoughts. I'm going to white emboss it on black cardstock. I'm going to cut out a very thin strip of that. I like to use my sentiment uh, strip dies for doing that. And then I used foam tape at the back to stick it on top of my card. Now to embellish my card a little bit more, I did use some of those Pink Fresh Studio gems in green for the green leaf and blue for the blue one. And you can see a close up photo here with all that sparkle. If you are planning to grab something from the latest release, make sure to visit my blog. You will find there a coupon code that will give you for free a brand new tote bag. So here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Just like always, you will find the links to everything I used down below. And until next time, stay safe.